A common descriptor for red wines is cherries. But today we're going to talk about a red wine grape that smells and tastes so much like cherries, it was named after them. That would be the Tuscan underdog Ciliegiolo. Hi there. I'm Jacqueline Ferrer, where we go around the world searching out wild and scarce wines made by small production wine producers with passion. And we like to look for unique wines and grapes that you don't quite find everywhere, like the Ciliegiolo. So, as I mentioned earlier, it comes from the Italian word for cherry or ciliegia. The Ciliegiolo red grape can be found up and down Italy in varying quantities, but its main concentration is in central Italy in places like Tuscany, Lazio, and Umbria, and the most concentrated area being in Tuscany, but it really thrives in the inland area of Marema but we're gonna get into that later. One reason why it is so popular in Tuscany could be that because of its lower tendency to acidity and the really fruity cherry flavors that come out, Ciliegiolo blends fantastically with the super popular Sangiovese. In fact, it has some DNA shared with Sangiovese and it's either a parent or an offspring of it, depending on who you ask. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Sangiovese, after this video, I'll put a link in the description below where you can find our previous video about the grape. And back to Ciliegiolo. But let's talk about the wine. More specifically, let's look at the perfume and the flavors in the real world. I'm going to use the example of La Maliosa's Rosso. If La Maliosa sounds familiar, it's because we've talked not too long ago about the woman-owned farm and winery in Tuscany. And you can check that video out in the description below as well. So why is the La Maliosa Rosso a great wine to look at for an example of Ciliegiolo? Well, for starters, it comes from one of the best areas for the grape, Marema. Part of this is because of what the vine needs to flourish. Well, let's go through a quick checklist of what the vine needs and see how Marema stacks up. It tolerates heat well. Marema is sunny and dry, so check. It needs good drainage. The hills of Marema are great for this. And not to mention they are also composed of the volcanic tough rock that is porous and hard, so Double check. And lastly, it needs to be properly maintained in the vineyard because it's a very vigorous vine. And La Maliosa, as a regenerative agriculture and sustainable winery, hand cares for each individual vine. So check again. Looks like La Maliosa in the vineyards meets all the Ciliegiolo requirements. And in the cellar? Well, La Maliosa specializes in indigenous Tuscan varieties for a reason. They want to represent their terroir and their region as best as possible in their wines. That is why techniques like native yeast fermentation, no filtering, no added sulfites are used. By making a wine with nothing added and nothing removed, they're minimal and really almost no intervention, winemaking style, doesn't change or modify the grape's flavors. It lets all of the natural beauty and flavors come out in the wine. Now that we have identified a great example of a 100% pure Ciliegiolo wine, let's talk about what to expect in the glass. La Maliosa's Rosso is a deep ruby color with just a hint of garnet on the edges thanks to nearly a year spent aging in barrels. In the bouquet is the first place that you will find cherries, but it's complex as well and there are spicy notes as well as other fruits and berries that come out like prunes and flowers like dried rose petals. On the palate, when you taste it, the cherries will come in heavy, but there's a soft and a chewy flavor to it as well. Overall, all, you will find an elegant wine that's intensity is a gift that just keeps on giving you flavors and enjoyment as you continue to sip. Ready to taste some Ciliegiolo for yourself? In the Vero shop at verovino.com, you can find this La Maliosa Rosso natural wine made from 100% Ciliegiolo grapes. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed learning with me today about this grape and this wine, you might like this video here about Sangiovese. Leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we post and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.